Rachel from HSTV and in today's video we're going to be doing the first ever Q&A on this channel with myself. Um, we have now surpassed 3k subscribers, um, the goal is to get 5k for the end of the summer holidays so let's try and get there as soon as possible. The love you give on the videos is amazing. It genuinely makes my day with every single comment that you guys put up um, and on the Instagram I've been asking you to send in some questions and on YouTube community posts as well and you guys have asked me loads of things so I hope that this video is uh, interesting for you and you can get to know me a little bit better. I think sometimes on this channel we are so into doing stuff on the Tab S7 Plus and note taking and university life and everything that sometimes a bit of me gets lost in there and I realize that you guys don't know me properly. So I hope that this video, um, this lighthearted video can give you a better idea as to who I am as a person. Um, a lot of you don't even know my name, which is unbelievable. So I hope um, all will become clear in this video. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So the number one question that I have been getting asked um, numerous times uh, is my name. So uh, this is like a little name reveal for you guys. My name is Hin Shamaz. Um, I didn't um, intentionally hide it or keep it a secret. It just so happened that I didn't really mention it in my videos. Um, I guess if you go back a few videos, my brother and sister and uh, my friends have actually mentioned my name, but um, as you can see, my name is quite unique. You've probably never heard of it before. Um, so now you know, I guess. Um, the other thing is that with the channel name, it's called HSTV. So HS, you can see are my initials, but actually these are also the initials of my brother and my sister as well. So um, originally when the channel was made, it was gonna be all three of us and my brother and sister come in um, in various as well so I guess we still have that side um, it just so happened now that I mostly do the content uh, for the channel but yeah now you know about the channel name and you also know my name <laughs> So the next um, quite popular question that I see all the time is where I'm from. Um, a lot of you have been guessing this as well. Um, so first of all, I've been living in Edinburgh for most of my life. Um, I was actually born in Pakistan, um, but I moved to the UK when I was like two or three years old. So since then I'm, you know, from Edinburgh now. Um, but I like to say I'm from Edinburgh and Pakistan because I do like Pakistan. Um, so yeah, there's your answer. <laughs> Okay, so I guess leading on from that question then, someone has asked um, how many languages I can speak. So um, I can speak two languages fluently, um, which is English and Urdu. I can, um, you know, understand, speak, read, etc. Um, both of them very well. Um, I think I'm kind of 50-50 on Arabic, Hindi and Punjabi, as in with Arabic I can read and understand things, but um, I'm not good at speaking it. So, you know, not completely fluent there. Um, and same with um, Hindi and Punjabi as well, I can understand them absolutely fine. If you want to include German as one of them as well, go for it. I did German at school, so you know, I got some qualifications in German there. Um, yeah, I think I can like understand bits of German, but, and like speak a little bit here and there, but you know, I'm not fluent in it by any means. So yeah, I think English and Urdu, um, that's my two main ones and um, I can do bits and bobs of other ones. <laughs> Uh, the next question that Simon has asked is, am I a student? And yes, I am a medical student at the University of Edinburgh. And actually, I think this is a good point to show you guys where Edinburgh actually is. So Edinburgh is the capital city of Scotland and Scotland is the kind of northern part of the UK. So I will put a map over here somewhere so you guys can see where we are. But I'm not surprised that, you know, I saw various spellings of Edinburgh and um, um, quite confused comments about where my university was but it's really because there's a lack of youtubers from Scotland and Edinburgh specifically um, but this doesn't mean that it's not a great place to live a great place to study and I guess that's the aim of this channel right to show you guys what living in Scotland and Edinburgh specifically is like for a medical student and I hope over the years you will start to love Edinburgh just as much as I do so the next question is actually about my hobbies. Um, so first of all, I really do consider YouTube as more of a hobby than um, a job. So um, I've always loved cameras. I've always loved making videos slash film content. Um, I really like coming up with ideas, the production, the actual filming and you know the editing and technical side of things as well. 
um, you know, I always like to read up on different cameras and micro microphones and also like editing softwares and the latest tech and the latest gadgets that come in. So I guess you can call all of this a bit of a hobby. Um, I also like to play instruments, so I can actually play the trumpet, uh, piano and guitar. Guitar I've recently gotten into but I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, uh, I also really like video games, uh, so playing video games I've done for many years now. I remember I started on the Nintendo DSi, if anyone remembers. Then I upgraded to uh, the PlayStation 3. And now, recently, I think a couple of years ago, I upgraded to PC gaming. So um, it's been a bit of a, a evolution, um, but I've uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, one of my favorite series, the Just Cause series, I have all of them, fantastic. The Need for Speeds were brilliant back in the day. Recently been playing COD Warzone, um, you know not not the best i would say but it's good fun and i think when you're doing like a, a degree like medicine which is so academic i think it's so important to have something creative that you can go out on i think you know all these hobbies and my interests allow me to do that okay so the next question is actually quite a fun one um somebody actually asked what my star sign is and um i was born on the 5th of july which makes me a cancerian but more interesting than that, I actually put up a story on my Instagram asking you guys to guess my star sign. And quite a few of you actually said Leo. And I've had this before because some of my friends used to think I was a Leo as well. Um, so I'll take that as a compliment, um, but I am actually a Cancer. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the next question is my favorite animal. So my favorite animal is actually the white tiger. Um, first of all, I think tigers are really cool. Um, so like just the regular orange and black ones, but actually white tiger more because of its uniqueness. Um, I like how it can be very calm, but also quite fierce at the same time. And I really like unique and kind of underappreciated things, um, which is one of the reasons I really like the Tab S7 Plus as well, I have to say. Um, so you might kind of see this um, with me in other parts of my life as well. I just like underdog things and uniqueness. Okay, so the next question is actually about my favorite show on Netflix. Um, so actually, I don't really watch a lot of Netflix, I have to say. Um, mostly if I get time, I might, if I've started a series or something, I might watch like an episode a day or something. Never really been a binge watcher uh, for Netflix, I have to say. Um, but yeah, like all time favorite, I think I would say Sherlock. Uh, really like Benedict Cumberbatch in that. Uh, the mystery, suspense, on point, fantastic. Great uh, little crime series there. Recently, I uh, watched the OA. It only had two seasons, um, so Netflix, please bring us season three if you're watching this. Um, but I think more than that, I really love the main actress in that, Britt Marling, um, and she's a great writer. She actually helped to write it. So I've been checking out her work. Um, you know, it gives a lot of deep thinking. I don't want to spoil anything for any of you who want to watch it, but yeah, uh, great deep thinking ideas, and just kind of makes you question life and. Um, really like that kind of stuff these days. Okay, um, so the next question is about my music tastes and what my favorite song is. And actually a few of you DM'd me on my Instagram as well asking what songs I use in my Instagram stories. So um, all that is kind of related, but I have to say the genre of music that I really like is kind of motivational and determined, um, you know, songs that kind of get you up and keep you going. Um, so for that, I have kind of top three. Uh, favorite band has to be The Score, really good. Um, also, Zaid Wolf and Sam Tines, um, all three of them, fantastic. Um, I'll like leave links to what I'm talking about in the description as well, so you guys can go check out some of my favorite things. Um, and the other side of music that I also quite enjoy sometimes, depending on my mood, is just kind of acoustic. So I really like to play guitar, um, but I also really love other people's acoustic covers of popular songs. Um, I think it's uh, it gives it like a nice little uh, mood and a nice little tone to it. So it really depends which mood I'm in. Mostly I'm kind of more the motivational side, but yeah, sometimes we go for acoustics. Okay, um, I'm actually gonna combine the next two questions. So first of all, you guys asked me why uh, do I wanna do medicine? What got me interested? And the second question is, did I ever consider any other profession? So back in the day in primary school, um, when I was like seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 years old, um, I always used to say I want to be a dentist and a part-time author. And uh, dentist because uh, my dad is a dentist, so um, that was my inspiration from there. And then 
um, a author because I really loved writing and I have to say I think I just got kind of taken away from writing because I was so busy doing other stuff but I was I was actually really good at writing as well like I won prizes for it and I loved story writing fiction story writing was so exciting for me um, but then I went into high school and um, as I started exploring my career options um, I really got interested in cardiology and the heart and it was from there then that I actually switched from dentistry to medicine. I think the creative writing part of me just kind of got lost somewhere in the journey and I've never really considered being an author since. Uh, I still love reading books, I still love watching um, you know shows from really good writers and stuff, I really admire that still um, but it's just not something that I think I would be good enough to do at this point. Um, I think I do a lot of other creative things now such as um, YouTube um, but yeah so I think that's I think career exploration is the main thing that got me interested in medicine. Um, I was always interested in science so I knew I wanted to go down that path somewhere. Um, you know I did physics, I did chemistry, I did biology, I did all the sciences at school um, but I think for me medicine is just you know it's just like science helping people um you know it's got the heart involved you know i'm so interested in cardiology and i think that side of things with the whole research and everything going on i think medicine is just a more well-rounded career for me um that might be controversial because um in no means in no way am i saying that dentistry is a bad career no like i wanted to be a dentist i think it's a fantastic career but it's just for me and my interests um medicine just suits better at this point and uh, um, we'll see where the journey in the next six years takes me. Um, all right, so next question is about my favorite cuisine. I feel like cuisine is such a, a, a like a, it's such a, a luxury word for a student. Cuisine. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, honestly, like I like all food. I really don't have an issue with food. Um, I think there's just a few foods that I'm not a big fan of, such as tomatoes. Like I can't really eat tomatoes in a salad. But, you know, tomato ketchup, tomato sauce, I don't have an issue with. Like, there's a few vegetables like that, which I'm not so keen on. Um, but to be honest, like any food, I like, I like Chinese food. I really like um, Pakistani food. Um, I, honestly, like literally any food I'm okay with. I think my favorite food has to be ice cream. Like, ice cream is not a cuisine. Like, this is how immature my palate is. But I just really love ice cream. Like, I could eat ice cream any time of the day or night. Um, but yeah, like honestly, anything. <laughs> All right, um, so the next question slash assumption um, that I saw quite a lot is, uh, you guys think that me and my family are rich. Um, so it, it, to address that, I would say that we are not rich rich, but yes, we are rich. So let me explain that a bit. So right from the beginning, right from you know my childhood years, um, my parents have always been very generous. Um, they have always given me pretty much everything that I wanted um, to have. And you know, in return for that, we just wanted a really respectful and a really grateful atmosphere in our house. And I think we've had that you know all my life. So in that sense, you can say that I'm rich because I've gotten like everything that I've wanted. But in return for all of that, um, I would still say that we are not like spoiled we are still uh, very grateful for what we have and um, I think that is just all down to our parents and um, how they brought us up so shout out to you <laughs> parents <laughs> Um, okay, so the next question is, do I have a part-time job? And the answer is no, um, not really. Um, honestly, um, at this point, I think I'm already doing quite a lot of stuff, um, so including YouTube and other things as well, um, that I think it would get too busy for me if I had a part-time job as well. Um, I think at this point, I need to kind of focus on my studies and we'll see where that takes me. Um, so I guess uh, YouTube is a bit of a part-time job and I do things kind of here and there. Uh, but I don't really have a proper job job. So yeah, but we'll see that might change in the future um, Okay, and the last question then is my favorite part of the body and Muscle histology as well. So first of all, let's just get the histology out of the way. I hate histology I can't stand looking at histology plates. So I'm just not gonna answer that at all. I think I genuinely I just find it really boring. I'm really sorry if I've offended any pathologists or um, histology lovers out there. It's just not for me. Um, favorite part of the body, first of all, I think the whole human body is absolutely extraordinary. Um, I realized that only by studying medicine for one year. 
Uh, favorite organ, you might already know this, but the heart, an amazing organ, always been interested in it. Um, I want to be a cardiac surgeon one day. Um, obviously, I have plenty of time to decide what I want to do, but I think I'm quite fixed on that at the moment. Um, an amazing organ. Um, yeah, I just find it's so strong yet so vulnerable. You know, heart disease, most common disease and killer in the world and most countries. So I just find that really fascinating how one organ can be so strong yet so vulnerable. Um, so yeah. Okay everyone, well that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed this little Q&A. Um, please do let me know down in the comments um, your favourite animal, your favourite cuisine, your favourite Netflix show. Please give me some recommendations. Um, and yeah, like, go follow the Instagram. Um, I do so much content on there as well. Um, Instagram stories and posts on there for you guys to interact and help out with the channel. As I said before, this channel you know, wouldn't be possible without you guys. I really do appreciate all your love and I hope that throughout my years of medical school and beyond that we can grow this YouTube family and uh, really show the world what it's like to study medicine in Edinburgh um, and Scotland as well. Because it's an area which is very underappreciated I think and I want to put it out there. So yeah, I think uh, that's me done talking. I feel like this is going to be a very long video. Uh, but if you've watched up until now, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.